Welcome to this week's edition of William & Mary Television's Flat Hat Insider. I'm Tanner Russo. And I'm Mary-Kate Weinbrenner. Following Patricia Volpe's recent resignation as the college's Dean of Students, the search for her replacement is now underway. Of the five finalists selected by the Dean of Students Search Committee, two candidates have already held public forums and interviews on campus. Brian Carlisle, the current Dean of Students at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire, was the first candidate to hold forum. Carlisle noted navigation and negotiation as essential tools in addressing both administrative and student interests. The second candidate, Charles Klink, emphasized the need for strong relationships with students. Klink currently serves as the Associate Vice Provost of Student Affairs at VCU. The remaining three finalists are expected to hold forums on campus within the next month. Well, change is also on its way for next year's Student Handbook. The 2013 to 2014 Student Handbook will include several adjustments as students and administrators re-examine some of the college's policies, specifically those related to conduct violations. In addition to making the college's code of conduct more transparent and user-friendly for students, the Student Assembly Policy Committee would like to see major changes enacted to the college's arrest disclosure policy. The current policy requires students to report arrest to the college within 72 hours of the offense. Student Assembly members have expressed concerns about the policy's implications for student privacy rights since the changes took effect in August of last year. The Dean of Students' Office recently submitted updated language for the arrest disclosure policy to Vice President for Student Affairs Ginger Ambler, who plans to present the proposed changes to President Taylor Reevely for further consideration. Associate Dean of Students and Director of Student Conduct David Gilbert says students should expect changes to the arrest disclosure policy either in next year's handbook or by mid-2013. In his report to the BOV on February 7th, Provost Michael Halloran discussed the 2013 Creative Adaptation Awards and a move to online in-course evaluations. Halloran emphasized the Creative Adaptation Awards, noting that $183,000 was donated to the college to encourage innovative improvements to educational programs. The provost also focused on the college's efforts to transition from paper to online evaluations in order to improve education and save money. Halloran comments that the online evaluations provide a sense of anonymity for students. The online evaluations will be implemented this semester. The provost is also working with the committee to research further possibilities of e-learning for the college. A new plan by the Mason School of Business will charge an extra per semester fee for its majors and minors. Once implemented, the fee will represent a 4% increase in the business school's budget. Currently, the Mason School of Business struggles to find financial resources to match the quality of expertise they provide. The new plan will not be a tuition increase, but rather a fee that accompanies the already existing cost of attending the school. It will not affect members of the class of 2014 who are already enrolled in the School of Business. That's all the time we have for this week's episode of the Flat Hat Insider. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for the latest updates. We'll see you back here next week.